In this video we're going to learn about the sine rule and the sine rule can be used to calculate angles and sides on non right angled triangles. Now when we were first introduced to trigonometry we only worked with right angled triangles so let's draw a right angled triangle to the side here and after we drew it we would label things so if this was theta we would label our hypotenuse we would label our opposite and we would label our adjacent and then we'd work from there now if we don't have a right angle we can't use this method anymore if we look at this triangle here which side is the hypotenuse which side is the opposite which side is the adjacent well we can't really do that anymore because without a right angle you can't actually have a hypotenuse so we're going to use this formula in cases where your triangles do not have a right angle when people first see it they can get quite confused because it actually has two equal signs in it why would they do that well the reason they do that is because you don't have to use the whole formula in fact you you can't use the whole formula usually you block one part of it out so you might block out C over sine C and just use the formula A over sine A equals B over sine B you might block out A over sine A and use B over sine B equals C over sine C or you may even decide to block out the middle part of the formula so you really only use two of the fractions you don't use all three when you solve it now if we look at the triangle at right let's label it with capital letters capital A capital B and capital C now if we go opposite these capital letters we get our sides we get our lowercase letters opposite capital B is lowercase B and opposite capital C is lowercase c and when we have values where these letters are you can substitute them into this formula and solve it so let's make up some values right now I'm just gonna rub out our arrows and let's say that our angle at capital A was um, 80 degrees let's say that our angle at capital B is 60 degrees and let's say lowercase b is 10 meters and we don't know what lowercase a is we're trying to find lowercase a now what you'll notice is the letters that are labeled are capital a lowercase a capital b and lowercase b you'll notice that we're not using capital c or lowercase c so if i was using my formula in this situation i would get rid of the last fraction the C over sine C and just use A over sine A equals B over sine B I would then substitute and then I would solve I also want to introduce another formula which is basically the same formula except we flip everything the formula above is useful when you're trying to calculate the length of sides whereas the formula below is more useful when you're trying to find magnitude of angles all right I have another triangle below and I just wanted to point out that you don't always use a B and C sometimes you use letters such as let's go P Q and R and then we go opposite these capital letters and label our lowercase letters opposite capital capital Q is lowercase Q and finally lowercase P so if I was using the sine rule for this particular triangle I would have P over sine capital P equals Q over sine capital Q equals R over sine capital R so we can see that the formula can change the letters can change or the fractions can be flipped anyway that concludes our video just introducing the sign rule remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video